Hello everybody and welcome to my new tutorial on how to create a read more, read less toggle. Um, I've announced the last time that I will do some tutorials on how to dynamically populate um, those accordion and tabs elements with Metabox and maybe ACF. Um, but this one was requested by a user on Facebook and I thought it fits um, to all the others I've done so far. So I did this one first and then I will cover that dynamically part I've announced the last time. So what is a read more, read less toggle? Um, you can see it here in the working demo. When I click the read more button, the content expands and the text here on the button changes to read less and read more. It's quite easy to set it up. You just need a few lines of JavaScript, which I have provided you as always. And you just need to change a few variables. Um, maybe if your native language is not English and you want to have a different text on that buttons, you can do that easily by change that variables. So let's set it up and head over to our WordPress installation and install, uh, create a new page and name it read more, read less. Hit publish. And then I hit edit with bricks. So what you need to do, there is a, a simple setup, which is a container that holds all that stuff you want to have. And for the, for the easiest setup, we just want to have here a text element. Maybe we paste some lorem ipsum text here to make it a bit bigger. And then you could um, choose quite any element for the trigger, but I recommend doing it with a button, a basic text, rich text, or you could also use an icon, for example. I'm gonna explain that later, but just to have it said. So let's use a button here for that demonstration and give it name of read more. Um, the JavaScript code will change that anyway, but for the initial page load, it will um, stay as it is. So it will only change when you click that button. Um, after you have set up that um, layout, you just need to go to that rich text element here or whatever element you have chosen and add an attribute. So what you need to name it is WCD underscore RMRL, which stands for read more, read less, underscore percentage. And you can define whatever value you would like to. You can change that on different read more, read less elements. The value defines um, how much of the full content should be hidden on initial state, which is, as the name says, uh, says in percentage. So if you want to have 90% hidden of the content, you are gonna give it a value of 90. Let's say we want to have 60% hidden on page load. So I'm gonna add here 60. And you also need to give that trigger a class, which is WCD underscore RMRL underscore trigger. So and that's quite it for the basic setup. What you should pay attention to is that those two elements, so the one which gets um, expanded and hidden and the trigger should be on the same hierarchical level and I would also suggest to wrap it in a container just to make things clear so you could name this read more read less and you could also have multiple of those read more read less um, elements on your site but I would recommend to to wrap them in a container here so let's add a code element and we just copy that code here 
and I'm gonna show you what it does in a few seconds. So first we need to add that script tag and close it here. And then we can paste our code. Hit execute code and that's it. So that's that would probably work on the front end if we set up everything correct. Uh, as you can see, it is now only showing, um, what was it, 60%. Now it shows 40% because we set it to 60%. And when I click here, the read more button, it shows the full content and the text changes to read less. So if you want to change that behavior of the, of the read more, read less toggle, you can just jump here over to the code and let's give it the German expression, why not? So let's say weniger lesen and mehr lesen, which you don't have to translate. I just want to show you how, how you can change that. So as I said, on initial page load, it still keeps the value it has um, you, you defined here, so you would also have to change it here. But when I click the button, it says weniger lesen and mehr lesen, which is the German expression for read more, read less. So you could easily translate that here um, to your language. What else is to say here? There is the variable duration, which defines the speed of the animation. So let's set this to a really crazy number that you can see what it does. So I just set it here to three seconds. Um, and when I hit the button here, as you can see, it needs three seconds to expand and to collapse again. That's it. Uh, now I want to show you a bit more advanced setup. So I'm gonna get rid of that stuff here. And what you can do is add another container here, which is kind of the uh, container for the content we want to expand. So let's add here another text element and I have to copy that lorem ipsum text again. So add the text here, but you could also add any element inside here. So let's add a list element, add, a, I don't know, let's add a countdown. Okay, that's and add an icon box. And for the trigger, we could use, for example, an icon now. So let's do that one. And we have to give them a class again, which is wcd underscore rmrl underscore trigger. And for the container, so now what we need to do is um, giving that attribute to the container now, since this is our wrapper for the content. And we're gonna head over here to attributes and name it wcd underscore read more read less underscore percentage and let's say we want we want to have I don't know 75% hit save and as you can see the whole container gets um, hidden or collapsed by default and when I click that icon here there is no text which changes here because I have set up the code that it recognizes any icons, so you could use an icon or, as I said, a button element, a text element. Um, but it recognizes if it is an icon or a text element and it changes the text on the only on the buttons and the text elements. And what you can see here is that you could nest any element inside of it. So you're pretty free to, uh, to the layout and you're also pretty free to that button. So I could, I could use, for example, I could use here a text element for my button. And I could say here, read more. You could also style it in a way you like. So let's give it that red color and center it. And there we go. Which of course, doesn't work because we didn't uh, set up here our trigger class. There are always a few things I also forget. So 
if you're facing any problems, just head over to the documentation and most of the time um, you will find the, the needed part or the missed part. So as you can see, it changes here the text. Um, you could also try um, any other elements, but what you probably have to do is play around a bit with them because I only tested it with the button element, with the rich text element, with the basic element and with the icon element as triggers. So maybe you will need to change that here to, uh, I don't know, to maybe, or, or, or maybe you have to, to delete that. So if you want to delete it, just leave it empty. And yeah, so that's it. But it wouldn't work for the text element here because then it gets empty. So maybe there is an element you, you don't need any text to be changed. Then you have to play around here with that. Um, but probably the those elements, um, so that the text, the icon and button elements are more than you will need because you want to have a constant design and probably you're gonna using the same trigger element um, for all of your uh, read more, read less elements. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about the read more, read less toggle. I hope you can follow along my tutorial. If not, just leave me a message. I'm happy if I can help you. And as always, I appreciate any feedback from your side. So uh, let me know if it was quite complicated for you or if you if it, it, if it was easy to follow. Um, yeah, and the next time I'm gonna do those promised tutorials on how to dynamically populate the repeater elements in Metabox and maybe ACF. I don't know about this one, but I'm gonna do it for sure with Metabox. So have fun by setting it up.